power to open! Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Aliens movie figure review on the NECA Toys Power Loader P5000 Deluxe Vehicle. If you're trying to get one of these, they are available now at Biggity Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Thanks so much NECA Toys for making this review possible. They sent this my way along with the Ripley figure that fits inside here. This is looking very, very awesome. I really like the packaging over here. Really nice images of Ripley inside the power loader. Then on the back, you can see there's a read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Then on the other side, we get the power loader. And then we get the Queen Alien versus Ripley in the power loader. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the power loader out of the packaging, along with the Lieutenant Ripley figure inside, which again is sold separately. I think NECA did a fantastic job with this piece. Another creation from Stan Winston's studio. I mean, God, dude, Stan Winston, a god among men, totally immortalized in his work. Am I right or am I right? And NECA has done a fantastic job of bringing this thing to life in action figure form. Just absolutely stunning. All kinds of working pistons throughout here. You get these wires all over the place. Now I do have a couple of gripes I will mention about this piece, but for the most part I just think it's fantastic. Anyway, let's take a closer look. Now looking at the top of the power loader, I really like how they have this net right over here. I think that is really cool. You also have your clear translucent yellow plastic right there for the emergency light. I wish this had a light up function. I think they may have used a lot of their cost on the mechanics of this piece. You know, as you'll see, there's a lot of functioning parts on this. By the way, the Ripley figure does look absolutely fantastic. Dead on Sigourney Weaver, I think. I think that looks amazing. But yeah, we get these really nice wires over here on the side. And then you get some really nice silver paint right there, adding some wear. There's some nice wash paint throughout on this thing. I mean, it just looks so detailed out and very realistic. I really love how this looks. And coming right over here, we get some really nice deco. Again, really good looking silver paint on this. Very nice wear. Nice bendy wires all over the place. I mean, they're not posable wires, but you know, you have the tubes coming all, around, all the way around. And you don't have to plug these in or anything like that. You do have to plug these two guys in right over here. And I recommend removing these when we lift up this little hatch piece right over here so we can insert the Ripley figure. And anyway, we looking at the other side, again, really nice deco. Nice sculpt through and through. I really like how this looks. This is just amazing to me. Then these pieces do collapse on each other, so you get this going on. This top one is actually a little bit looser than I'd like it to be, so you really have to angle it right, but yeah, it could slide down on its own, and that could be a little bit frustrating. Same thing on this side too, but not nearly as bad. Then you have real metal little pieces right here that these slide on, so I think that's pretty neat. You can see the teeth right over here. Nice emergency stripes and everything. Looking underneath, oh man, this is just beautiful. Loving all these details. Dang, the deco and everything. Nice little attention to detail with the paint. I just think this is great. So yeah, looking at these pistons right over here, I mean, I will go over them more with the articulation because they really make this whole vehicle work and it's just incredible. I, I just think it's very, very impressive. Now going back over here, um, now this is my actual biggest complaint about this thing are the hands. The power loader comes with a separate set of hands that you attach to the Ripley figure. And these hands are meant for, you know, these little handles right over here. But the thing is, is that it gets detached very easily. As you can see right here, this one already came Came off and if I just move this around yeah that's just gonna come off like that so actually what I recommend doing is just using the hands that came with the Ripley figure and I'll show that off in a second now lifting this up over here like I said earlier you may want to remove these it just makes it a little bit easier so just unplug both of those then lift this up and then what you do is you want to peel off this little red piece right here and then you also have this little piece that comes around the notch and we could remove that, come on now. And you want to be careful because you don't want to peel off the actual notch here. So it could get stuck, but yeah, there we go. And then you can just remove the Ripley figure and then her feet are plugged in right over here too. You just want to slide those out. Yeah, I'm going to take these hands off over here. Uh, I do want to show that these do slide forward and back, which I think is very cool, okay? But I just think it's just better off using the Ripley hands that came with the figure. And before we put Ripley back inside here, I just want to take a look at the details that they put on these straps. I think they look really nice. Nice pliable material that they used over here. Same thing with these pads over here on the back. I just think it looks really good. So I think they did a great job with all the pads 
padded sections throughout on this thing. And we didn't look at the bottom right here, but it does have peg holes right there. I think that's great. So to go over the articulation without the Ripley figure inside, I first recommend removing these two pieces right over here. Uh, these can actually get in the way of the shoulder pads or the shoulder joints, I mean. So these can actually bend all the way up that way, which I think is really cool. And you can get them rotating forward. And I just love that you have all these pieces connected over here. As you can see, as I rotate this forward, you get these pistons moving right over here. So that is amazing. I think that is just really cool. Same thing on that side. You can see that other piston moving forward and back right over there. You also get this joint right over here, and then you get rotation right up there too. So there's a lot of inner working pieces. You can see with this elbow joint, as I bend this, the piston moves right over there. I think that is awesome. And then you also get this hinge that moves in and out, and then you get rotation right over here. And of course, this slides up and down as well as this one over here. And then you also do not get waist uh, movement which I wish it had. It looked like she had waist movement in the movie. I don't know, I kind of want to try it, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to turn side to side. But I think the actual power loader did have some kind of waist rotation. Anyway, uh, you can move the leg pieces outward that much, and you can see that they move forward pretty far too, and it does bend at the knee very far, and you can see that there's a piston right inside right over here, and get that to bend. And there that goes. You can see the piston work inside as I bend that. You want to be careful though. I actually did break this piston right here on the side. But you can see that, you know, it, it's separated right there. But you can still bend the leg and then tuck that in. So, you know, just have, have to be wary about that. And you can see that there's a hinge piece right here. And then this can rotate side to side over there as well. Then you also get other pistons right over here at the ankles. So those can move in and out right down there too. So a lot of inner working pistons over here and a lot of our articulation for this piece. So then putting the figure inside, I like to weave her through right here. Ha! Get it? Get it? Ha! Anyway, uh, you can just put the feet right down right in here, and then get this foot into place right over here. And then all you gotta do is just get this all together. And then you want to start with this piece coming around her waist, which is very, very tricky to do on camera, I might say. Um, a lot easier to do when, you know, I just have this sitting in my lap. But anyway, you can see, you just wrap this around her little belt and then move this down right there. And then we can just close this up and that plugs into those two ports. Oh, come on, plug in properly. There we go. All right, and there that is. So now you can add these two spikes right back up to the way it's supposed to. And then we can get her posed over here. So let's see, we can get a pose going on. Move this out this way. I just think it's better just not using the hands that came with the power loader because it's just a little bit easier managing this without having her hands wrapped around those little handles. As cool as that feature is, um, I just think it's just better to go like that and kind of just fake it, you know? I don't know, or having the hand wrapped around over here. I mean, this hand right here actually looks very similar to the power loader ha holding hand, but it's not. It has the white fingernails. And I don't know, you, you may think that's totally shaky. Let me know in the comments below, but I just prefer having it like that, you know. But it is actually very tricky getting her to move around while having those actual hands in there. The hands just pop right off the figure. And then getting the knees to bend while she's inside the power loader, you know, it is a little bit restricted. Uh, this side, of course, because it has a broken piston, but you can see that it'll bend around. So I just think it works out better getting things pre-posed and then adding them together as opposed to trying to pose Ripley while inside the power loader, but it still works. It's just a bit tricky. And to measure out the power loader, it's standing just a little under 12 inches tall. To the emergency light, it's actually closer to about 10 and a half inches. Then for size comparison, here's the power loader next to Ripley in the compression suit and a Xenomorph alien. Get away from her, you bitch! Oh, that was my favorite line in the movie. And seeing the queen alien next to the power loader is just too awesome. Oh man. That is sick, uh, I love it. The size difference right here, I think it's perfect. And then here's Ripley in the power loader next to the Marvel Legends big time let down Spider-Man. You know, I got a thing for white cotton panties. You know, if you're not doing anything later, how about after this review, you and I go, oh, ooh, uh, oh no. <laughs> I do have my gripes about this vehicle, but still, I think it's a really, really cool addition to my collection. Having her pitted up against the Queen Alien is just too awesome, and I'm very, very happy that NECA went ahead and made this. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these buttons right over here if you want more shirt in your face. Also, if you're 18 years of age or older, check out the Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. 
the or heating up the 